Hi, this is Amy with Living My Beloved Life, and this is going to be an update on my schoon cup. Actually, I'm going to trim it. I am so nervous. I've read a bunch about it, um, but nobody else seems to have a video showing me how to do it, so I'm going to piece together what I can. Um, this is the schoon size 1. I have used it on two different cycles, three, four times, and every time it just bugs me. So I'm hoping that if I just um, trim off the tail that it will be um, great because I also have a, a Maluna small and I'm in love with that one, soft. And um, then I just got the Femi Cycle. I have done it on the dry run with it, loving that too. So I want to love this Schoon Cup. It's such a pretty color and it seems like it's a great shape. I mean, look at the details there. I, I want to really like this cup. So here's my next step. So like I said, I read about it and here we go. Hopefully I don't mess this up. So this, um, the stem is solid and it's pretty stretchy. And so I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna cut it off all the way. Um, I have fairly low cervix, I believe. And so I don't think I really need that. I'm fine reaching up there and actually grabbing the ends of it, which you need to do anyway. Um, so. I got some really sharp scissors here. These are um, some really old um, hair cutting scissors, but they are amazingly sharp. I'm actually going to cut this off. And then, um, yeah, Eeks. here we go. Snip. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so I forgot to say, when I actually I measured this and the stem itself um, was like an inch. So now, um, things I've read said to cut it off and um, then file it or use clippers to kind of make the edges smooth. The edges are fairly smooth right now. I don't see that those would honestly bother me, um, but you never know. So I'm just going to file it. So I've got my giant file here and we're going to file it a little bit, but I don't want to mess up the um, my pretty grips. So, oh my gosh, I so want this to work. Do, 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 do. So it looks, I'm on the hard edge, and honestly, it looks like nothing is coming off. Uh, do I need to rub it harder? So it's got a little of the, you know, um, what's that always called? You know, like when you file, file your nails and there's that little bit of white stuff. So it seems like it's got some of that. But maybe I'll just leave it like that with just a little stub. Because it doesn't seem to really want to file down. And like I said, oh, I better get, make sure I get that. I don't want um, to damage it, and I certainly don't want to damage the grip rings there. But I don't want to have any of those little pieces of plastic floating or silicone floating around in me either. But yeah, maybe I'll. Oops, can you focus? Let's make this baby focus a little better on you. There we go. Um, yeah, maybe if I clean that up, you can see I got a little divot in there. Um, but if I can clean it up a little bit, I'll try that. Let's see. I'm going to stop and we'll try it. Okay, so I filed it a little bit more, uh, but not too much. You can still kind of see the little divot in there. Um, but... Um, and I rinsed it. So I decided to leave it as a little nub, and we'll see if um, if that helps. So fingers crossed, yay, that this is, that I'm going to fall in love with it and love it just as much as all my others. All right. Um, if anybody else has filed and trimmed off their um, cups and you have any suggestions for me, I would love, 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 love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.